Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. I'm Emerald and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to cut flitches without an edger. And there are two ways of doing this and I'm going to show you both. But before we begin, remember to like and subscribe. But other than that, let's get into the video. We have an edger, but we didn't always. And I know that some of you out there have mills and don't have an edger. So I'm going to be going over how we cut the flitches on the mill. Obviously this isn't uh, the most time efficient way, but if you don't have an edger, it's the way to do it. Now the method that you use varies a lot with the computer programming that you have and the log and the dimension that you're trying to get out of the log. So I'm going to be going over all of that here in a minute. But first, you have to know what computer programming you have. Now, I don't know about the other ones or if there are other ones, but the simple set would be your easiest to do this on. And it would be the, I know that we had it on our LT35 would be the simple set. And then once we got up to the LT40, we now have the Aki set, which is completely different than the simple set. So depending on what computer programming you have, it's going to be either easier or harder. So like I said, we have the AccuSet, and the great thing about the AccuSet is it actually measures from the bottom up, so it's a lot more accurate, but it makes it more challenging because you're not actually cutting on the inch then. Unlike the simple set, the AccuSet actually accounts for the amount of wood that is lost to the sawdust, so it's actually going to be very uh, fidgety with it and it really takes into account every little thing so you get more of a consistent product but that way it's not like you are just hitting the down button and it's going from exactly 8 to exactly 7 instead it's going to be more like uh, 8 and 3 30 seconds to 7 solid because it takes you know, a few 30 seconds out due to sawdust, but that's all measuring from the bottom up, whereas the simple set would be measuring from the top. But why is this important? Let me get to my point here. Why I am saying all of this is because it matters when you are deciding how you want to cut the flitches, and there are two ways to do it. You can either cut the flitches as you're cutting the camp down. So you have your camp already squared up and now you are going to put the flitches up on to the cant, up against it and cut the cant with the flitches. That is one way of doing it. The issue with that when you are using the AccuSet is that then it won't be on the inch and because you are cutting the boards vertically to the bed of the mill, that matters when you're trying to get a certain width. So the second way that it can be done is by just removing all of the flitches as they come off onto the arm of the mill and then cutting them afterwards. This works out just fine. You might have to do two batches if you have a very large log with many flitches because the flitches are such different sizes that it doesn't work to put them all up there on the same time and cut them. Uh, which it can be a hassle and the only downfall to doing that is that then you are making a lot of extra cuts. The reason why you would want to cut the flitches with your cant is the fact that then you aren't making any extra cuts because you're cutting, you'd be cutting the cant anyhow down to your boards, whatever you're cutting. And so then you would be making more cuts. Even then, it depends on what dimensions you are trying to get out of your cant. Say you were cutting two inch, and so all of the cuts that you're making are two inches thick, and you don't want to take that much off of the edges of your flitches, then again, it wouldn't work, so you'd have to set them on the bed of your arm and put them up after. Of course, you could figure out ways, but uh, in the end, it's just a lot simpler to put them just on the arm and cut them after. As far as cutting the smaller logs with it just being like two flitches, the little arm here, well, not arm, dog, whatever you want to call him, uh, the little guy that pushes it up against that way, you know, the little pincher thingy, um, 
it can only go like, what is it, Jade? Two and a half inches to the edge of this. So it can't actually go all the way to the end. Uh, so it's kind of hard to put up two vertical pieces of one inch up here to cut them because this won't actually go all the way. So there are solutions to that. Just pick up a little piece of bark on the ground and put it there so it can pinch it. But it's, you know, a little bit of a hassle. And if this is all about production, 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 and you're trying to do it as fast as possible and efficient as possible, that's not really the way to do it. My examples in today's video was not that great because the logs were really small, so we only got a few flitches out of them. With the larger log, you'd have a lot more flitches, so it'd be a better example. But these were the logs that we were cutting today. So I hope that you guys get what I'm saying here with the limited amount of flitches that we actually had with these two examples. I have done it all of these ways in the past. I used to have a simple set, so I used to do that just every time before we got the edger. And all of them work. It's just a matter of efficiency. In the end, it's what you feel is best and most efficient for you and your uh, business. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram at lumbercapital07. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.